Hi, I'm Eli Prinson from HybridVocalTechnique.com. I was going to show you today uh, the difference between a high uh, chest registration and a mixed voice and a head voice and falsetto. You've, you've probably heard these all over the place, right? Uh, but let me just break it down in, in a very easy uh, a way, okay? Uh, of explaining to you how you can sing high several different ways and get a variety of different tones, okay? So you may have noticed if you're a singer and you're in a band, you probably, most of us all have a, a guitar player that is just, con just completely obsessed with his tone. He's always tweaking knobs. He's got a floor full of pedals, Bruce, okay? So they're always shaping their tone. They're searching for something on their clean channel or their distortion or their, uh, you know, their dirty channel. They're always trying to find this thing. Well, as singers, we do the same thing, all right? But sometimes there's just not an effect rack that can do these things for us. We have to find these sounds or find a way to produce these sounds within what we've been born with, okay? And, and with what we can train to achieve, all right? So... You might be wondering, what in the heck is this guy talking about? So the best thing to do is just to show you, okay? So um, most, most vocal training uh, programs out there will teach you how to go from, uh, or at least the good ones, the good ones, will teach you how to bridge your registers or fuse your registers to go from chest voice into head voice, okay? So if I'm singing... A B, let's just say a B4 or a C5, something like that. Um, if I'm belting, all right, and a true belt, that's going to take a lot of energy, a lot of training, especially for someone like me that doesn't have a, a high speaking voice. It's going to take a lot of training and a lot of uh, dedication to be able to sing that high, to sing a note that high, all right? But it can be done. It can be done. So a high C, yeah, that took a lot of energy, okay, a lot of strength. I was supporting like mad. I tipped and thinned my voice out. I pushed the resonance up here. Even though I was still using the chest register, I shifted the resonance up here. It's, that was not a mixed voice, so I'm telling you right now, listen to me. That was not a mix, okay? That was a belt, and that was hard to do, okay? Now, that being said, that same note up there uh, with, with training and, and things like that, you can sing that same note. Yeah! With a mix sound or a head voice that has a few little tricks thrown in on, on it, okay? Or you can even make that same, that same note a little more piercing. Yeah! Okay? doesn't really have the power of the first one. Yeah! Which was, you know, a lot of energy, a lot of strength, took a lot to, to produce that. The other side. Yeah! Why would we want to do either one? Okay. Well, uh, depending on the material or the emotion or whatever it is in the song, just like we were talking about at the beginning where we're trying to find this sound. We're trying to find this certain sound we want for uh, material that we're recording or, or performing, right? So if you've always trained one way or the other, um, if, you've, if you've only trained in speech level, ma, 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 and that's your sound up high, or if you've only trained um, classical and yeah, ah, and you have, that's what you have, and you don't have ah, head voice and things like that, you're missing out, okay? So don't be like, uh, you know, pre-MMA when a uh, karate teacher down the street had a rivalry with kung fu uh, teacher down the street because karate was number one and down the street kung fu was number one and then mixed martial arts uh, <laughs> comes into our lives in the early 90s, and the next thing you know, we figured out that putting them all together created 
what we have now, uh, ultimate fighting, a, a blend of disciplines. Okay, that's what makes a more complete fighter. Okay, so in that sense, this analogy <laughs> is intended to show you, okay, with vocal training disciplines, this applies. The power of classical in a dedicated training of your chest voice and getting it up higher, your true voice. Train it to be able to do this. On the other side of the street where you have speech level, learn to, to get that thing to where you can use the finesse and the light part of it, okay? Then I jump in there, boom, hybrid vocal technique, and I grab both of them and I figured out how to make them work together to bring the best of what you got, the best of what you got, and boom, now we got something to work with, okay? So when you train simultaneously with these techniques, you get there a lot quicker. You get there a lot quicker because now you have power, finesse, freedom, strength, and they got each other's back, so to speak, okay? So where one will show up uh, and let's use another fighting analogy. Little guy's got the mouth and the, the guy behind him backs him up. Okay, and that's kind of like support. Support keeps this keeps the voice going. Okay, so you don't uh, break and, and all sorts of other things. So head voice, speech level can be used as a gateway to bring in power. Okay. And that's what I teach at hybridvocaltechnique.com. And uh, let me give you a quick demonstration of this, okay? So if you're training, there's nothing wrong with that. You can sing with that. Girl, you know it's true. I love you. Okay, and then all of a sudden uh, you're at this important audition and they're like, okay, well, now I need you to, uh, we're gonna sing some rock or some heavy metal, some popular metal to get the, to get the crowd going, okay? And then all of a sudden you start getting nervous and you're like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Cause then you're like, I'm back in black, I hit the sack, I bet you know I'm glad to be. And they're like, Ugh. okay, well, we'll give you a call. Don't call us, we'll call you, okay? That's not to say that you've wasted your time with speech level because you have it. Because if you can do that, black and black, all right, you can add power to that. You can go from that coordination and go right through that black and black, okay, with some power. Because you can begin that sound with that coordination, bring in what I will train you with to bring that up, the, uh, the chest voice to go much higher. And then as soon as you come in there with that coordination, the constriction is gone. So you don't get the back in black that all other coaches are gonna tell you you will get by trying to sing things with your chest. Put them together, okay? And you can do incredible things with your voice. Come see me at hybridvocaltechnique.com and let's make it happen.